Special thanks to Patreon supporter CroftGhost54 for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to before here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the IS-6 heavy tank. The IS-6 heavy tank was a vehicle that was drafted up in May of 19, 1944, designed to replace the IS-2. The IS-6 was developed under two different versions, the Object 252 with a mechanical transmission and the Object 253 with an electric transmission, very similar to that of the German Ferdinand slash Elephant. The two prototypes uh, were tested alongside the uh, Object uh, 701, uh, which was the prototype for the IS-4. The two IS-6 prototypes proved disappointing, with the Object 253's electric transmission being too complex, expensive, and unreliable, and Object 252's mechanical transmission also suffering from reliability issues. Suspension problems also impacted the IS-6, with its speed dropping below the heavier Object 701. It was hoped that the electric transmission would help make the tank more maneuverable, but the heavy weight uh, prohibited any vast improvements. Overall, the IS-6 armor was deemed to not provide any improvements over existing designs, having only comparable armor, firepower, and mobility to the IS-2 and IS-3. In 1945, all work on this IS-6 ceased as work continued on the Object 701. So the IS-6 was a tank that really didn't see much, uh, only two prototypes built and both prototypes were different from each other. Um, it never saw any actual service and was strictly just a testing tank. Um, so yeah, really interesting uh, vehicle and one of those vehicles that again lost to history uh, with you know all of, with all the other vehicles and all that stuff that actually saw spotlights and stuff like that in the wars. Uh, but this one here, um, just a prototype tank that never really made it past the uh, testing field. Um, overall, I think the tank came out absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it came out, the detailing, and the shaping. I think it's all spot on, and um, I think it came out really great, so that's awesome. Uh, before we get and take a look at the build, I want to give a special thanks to one of our new Patreon supporters, CroftGhost54, for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing. It helps support me and the channel directly and uh, all my work, and it's much appreciated And you earn a vehicle request of your choosing every month that you are a Patreon supporter. So uh, definitely feel free to check that out. Again, link is down in the description. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move into taking a look at the uh, the vehicle here and all that fun stuff. So starting off with, we have obviously the main gun, uh, which is the same as the uh, IS-2, which is the 122mm gun. Um, it might have been a more advanced gun, who knows, uh, but I do know that it was 122mm, same as the IS-2. Uh, uh, in the front here, we have just the various little uh, uh, headlights, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the front is very reminiscent to that of the IS-7, uh, which kind of has like that very... Uh, sloped uh, look to it. It's just not as piked on the front there. Uh, we then have the turret here. Uh, obviously, lots of good detail going on at Dishka. Uh, mach er, machine gun up on top there, heavy machine gun. And again, various little details here around the turret. One thing that's interesting about the turret is that it is kind of uh, lopsided, so this side kind of rounds out more while this side kind of slants back more in the front here, so that's kind of a cool little feature there. Uh, moving back here, we have the vents and all that fun stuff. Uh, again, you know, pretty simple little detailing here and there for it and of course the track system and all that and that's pretty much the vehicle um i think it came out really good i'm overall really happy with the design for it and it's gonna be will be a really cool uh vehicle to add to your worlds for sure anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers layers zero and one all right guys moving into our first set of layers we go ahead and move it into layers zero through one for these layers to go ahead and get started with here we'll be going ahead and placing down a nether brick slab just like this followed by a second nether brick slab next to it and then two top slabs of nether brick coming off those two slabs like so like so. Once that's done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block like this, followed by a green shulker box coming off the side there. We're then going to go ahead and go to the ground, and we're going to go ahead and place the blocks in the ground with some narrow brick uh, blocks just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block and a shulker box here to the side. Again, we're going to go ahead and go to the tracks here and place down two narrow brick blocks on the ground. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern until we have a total of uh, what is going to be six road wheels on the ground. So we're gonna go and keep doing this. We have our fourth road wheel here. Uh, swap our ground out for another brick. Green terracotta, green shulker box, we have five. And our last road wheel 
right here, green terracotta, and a shulker box. So as you can see, we have a total of six of these road wheels here represented by the green terracotta and um, green shulker boxes. Once that's done on the faces here of these blocks, we're going to go ahead and take some buttons, and we're going to place down dark oak with buttons there on the sides of them. And we also want to go ahead and take item frames, and we're going to place down item frames here along the sides of them as well. Now coming off the item frames, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta, and we're just going to place down green terracotta in the item frames like that to give a nice little detailed look there for our road wheels. And that right there is going to finish those off. With that done, on the back here, we're going to go and take our uh, narrow brick uh, blocks, we're going to place them down in the ground like so, and then coming off these shulker boxes and green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down two dark oak wood upside down stairs. And then coming off those two dark oak wood, uh, sorry, these are dark oak wood top slabs, my bad. Coming off those dark oak wood top slabs, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs on the back there. Now once that's done, go ahead and move into the center of the tank. We're going to place down a green terracotta block, or a zombie head coming off this narrow brick stair, followed by a uh, dark oak wood top slab going forward. Um, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood trap door. And come off this top slab here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. And then over here, we're going to do a dark oak wood top slab, and then our zombie head like this to the side here. And from this point here, we can go and just take our dark oak wood top slabs, and we can go and fill in the bottom here of the tank. Now this is going to go ahead and go all the way up to the um, narrow brick slab here. So this section here, so we're just going to take rows of three of dark oak top slabs and fill this all the way in to create the base here of the tank until we get to these narrow brick slabs here across the front. Now once that's done, we're going to then take narrow brick uh, trap doors and we're going to place down a row of three across like so. From this point here, we're just going to go ahead and duplicate the track design we did over on the air side, just over here to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and build it a little bit quicker since I've already kind of covered how to uh, how to do it uh, for yourselves. So I'm just going to do it a little bit quicker, as I mentioned. And again, if you need to, you can refer to the air side. It's the same exact thing as uh, we did on the right side of the tank. So again, place our tracks in the ground like so. And then coming back here like that. Two dark oak with top slabs and two narrow brick up sound stairs from off the back here. And of course, we can't forget our details here on the sides of the road wheels with dark oak with buttons along the side here and item frames as well. And we're also going to place down green terracotta in those item frames just like that. And once you have that done, that is going to do it there for the base of the IS6. Here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, that is going to wrap up. Uh, what we have here for layers 0 and 1, and with that, let's move into our next layer, layer number 2. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 2. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go and take narrow brick stairs, and we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs on top of these two narrow brick top slabs. Once that's done, in between them, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, corner stair here, to both sides, and in the space in between those dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. Also, coming off these two corner stairs, we're going to place down two skeleton skulls, just like that. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood plank here in the middle, followed by one, two, and three green terracotta blocks to the side, and one, two, and three over here to the side as well. We then want to place down a stone button, or sorry, a dark oak wood button there on the side, and we also need to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame. And we're going to place down an item frame here on the side of the block with a cobweb in it for the front sprocket wheels. And same thing up here. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of five across the middle here, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak or a uh, narrow brick top slab to both sides. Now one thing I also want to go ahead and add in for the previous layer was that in between these green terracotta blocks we were supposed to put dark oak with top slabs so just go ahead and include that right now. Um, one thing I forgot to uh, mention there uh, in the previous layer so it should look like something like this from above here but pretty simple little addition we don't have to break anything. Anyways from this point here we're going to go ahead and drop down with narrow brick slabs and we're going to place down a narrow brick slab followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, slabs back and then we're going to go ahead and place down two narrow brick top slabs. Now along these slabs that we just placed you have the option of taking dark oak wood trap doors and place them down on the sides of these um, blocks and going ahead and closing them or opening them however you want to look at them to kind of cover up the look there for the tracks. It's kind of an optional thing uh, whether you want to do it or not. Um, kind of adds a little bit of the side paneling here on the tank but you don't need to do it if you don't want to. Um, then we come back to this section here, we're just going to place down a narrow brick slab on, or sorry, dark oak slab on top of this one. And then across these stairs here, we're going to place down one and two uh, narrow brick stairs across those stairs. And then to come off the faces of the stairs, we're going to place down two dark oak signs. And then also along the side here of the tracks on the inside, we're going to take a green terracotta and just fill that space in a long row like that, closing off any little gaps that might be left open from the tracks. 
With that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to this side and do the same thing we did over on the air side. So I'm going to go and force do it a little bit faster here as I've already kind of covered in detail how to do it. Again, it's pretty straightforward and you, again, you have the option of choosing to add these dark oak trapdoors, but if you don't want to, you obviously don't have to add them. And all the way to that point there, and then of course our green terracotta blocks right behind them. This going across, one past here, dark oak with slab, and there are two narrow brick stairs across, and our dark oak with signs coming off the faces of the stairs, like so. Now once that's done, we're going to go and then place down a row of three of green terracotta across this point right here, followed by a dark oak with upside stair, and a dark oak with upside corner stair to both sides of that stair, like that for the back there. Once that's all finished there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number two. You should get something that looks like this here, the optional side panels and um, all that fun stuff. You can also go ahead and just fill the space in too if you want, um, though you don't really need to. If you don't want to do some kind of interior for it, you can leave it open. Um, but for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just go ahead and fill it in completely. Anyways, that's it there for layer number two for the build. Let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. Three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go and get started with here, we're going to take our green carpet, we're going to place down two green carpets on top of these two narrow brick stairs, and then going back from it, we're going to place down one and two dark oak with trapdoors, one and two like that, to both sides. From that point there, we're going to go ahead and also place down green carpet here on both sides of the spruce wood plank, and then on top of the spruce wood plank, we're going to place down a spruce wood trap door. For this point, going back from the trap door, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair, followed by a dark oak wood stair to both sides, and then coming off the faces here of those dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down an item frame with a snow block like that in it on both sides. After that's done, come go ahead and go off of these stairs. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood slab to both sides and then a daylight sensor um, like this coming off those slabs like that to create a little bit more of an angle. And of course your trap doors may open um, depending on the uh, signal and all that so you may need to close them again but uh, just give them closed and those should be good to go. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by eight dark oak wood stair to both sides. Coming off the dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down eight dark oak wood slab like this to both ends. Like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of four, or sorry, row of five of green terracotta going across, followed by a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides. Going ahead and going back from this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a second stair. And same thing over here. And then we want to go and then place down a uh, third stair back like this. Now across the these three stairs here, we're going to go and take some spruce wood signs and four little boxes here that would be on the side of the tank. We're just going to go and use some spruce wood signs and place them down along the side here like this to give a little bit more shape to the build there. And then uh, the space in between these stairs, we can just go and take green terracotta and place down two rows of five there to go and fill that space in. Once that's done, along the side here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, uh, and uh, four, four stairs back, so one, two, three, and four, and then we want to place down a dark oak corner stair here on both sides. Now once that's done, um, we're in the space in between the stairs, we're going to go ahead and fill it up, fill it up. So we're going to place down a row of five here, followed by a second row of five, and then a third row of five. When we get to this point, however, we're going to place down a green terracotta block there in the middle, and we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some black concrete, and we're going to go ahead and place down black concrete, on both sides of like this for the vents and then we can go back to our green terracotta and place down a row of five across Now we get to this point here coming off these corner stairs We're gonna place down a daylight sensor to both sides followed by a dark oak stair with the back of the stair facing toward the middle of the tank And then a row of three of green terracotta across between those stairs Once that's done going ahead and coming off of the sensors. We're gonna place down a dark oak with trap door Both sides close them like that and then we're gonna place down a daylight detector here um, on both sides. In this space across here, we're gonna place down a spruce wood trap door, or spruce wood slab to both sides, and then a dark oak wood slab in the middle. And then on the very back here, we just wanna go ahead and grab our green carpet. We're gonna place down one and two green carpet bl uh, blocks, and then one and two over here on this side, and then a row of three of dark oak wood trap doors across the middle space like that. Also on the right side, you do have the optional um, little bit you can add onto the tank here. And this I believe was probably maybe fuel tank uh, holders or something and from models and stuff it only looked like it was on the right side of the tank so kind of weird uh, but you do have the option of adding this so real simple uh, we're gonna go to the right side of the tank place down a dark liquid fence gate coming off this corner stair open it up toward it skip a space forward go to this this second stair here dark liquid fence gate open it up toward it and then on the sides of the fence gates here we're gonna place down dark liquid signs 
And you can do the same thing over on the other side of the tank if you do want to. Um, but again, going off models and stuff, I found it was only on the right side of the tank. Um, anyways, that's it for what we have here for uh, layer number three. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we moved into layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this spruce wood stair, just like that. When that's done, we want to go ahead and then go to the left side of this block. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall like that. And then over on the other side, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall as well. Now, from this point here, we're going to go ahead and go off the green terracotta block. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mossy cobblestone walls going forward. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood, sorry, another brick stair on the end here, like so, if it's back facing forward. And then we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the back of the stair. Now, along the side of the stair and the last mossy cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down dark oak wood signs. So, same thing here on both sides. And then from that, we're going to go ahead and place down a end rod over here on the right side, coming off this mossy cobblestone wall. And then a dark oak wood stair coming off this second mossy cobblestone wall for the barrel here. And same thing over here. <clears throat> a uh, row of two uh, on this side. A little bit different, actually. Um, we have the, we don't have the end rod on this side, so we just have that. And then we also want to place down an item frame coming off that mossy cobblestone wall and a black concrete block in the item frame like that to go ahead and make the front there of the gun. Once that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head and we're going to go ahead and go to the left side of this wall. We're going to place down a zombie head like so. We then want to go ahead and go behind these blocks. We're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across. And on the right side here, we're going to place down a zombie head. And over here on the left side, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then go on the right side. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a row of one, two, and three. Green terracotta blocks over, and then a mossy cobblestone wall over there on the right side. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood quarter stair, like this, followed by one, two, and three. Green terracotta blocks over, and then a dark oak wood stair over here on this side. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and take a green terracotta. We're going to place down two rows of five, going back like so. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall in the corners here, and then a row three of green terracotta across the middle space. Once that's done, we're going to go to the side here of this corner stair over here on the right side. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone, or sorry, a item frame, and a green terracotta block in the item frame, followed by a dark liquid sign on the stair like that to create this design here on the side of the tank. And same thing over here on this stair, item frame, green terracotta block, and a dark oak sign on the stair like that. Once that's done, uh, we can go ahead and then go to the space here in the middle, we're going to place down a daylight sensor, followed by one and two item frames here to both sides like that, and once that's done, we're going to place down iron bars in the item frames like so, and we then want to go ahead and also grab ourselves dark oak wood buttons, and we're going to place down dark oak wood buttons on the green terracotta blocks like this to go ahead and create these little like vent type designs here on the top. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone button here in the middle followed by one and two rails here on these two black concrete blocks like that to go and create these vents. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trap door like this on both sides here. We're going to go ahead and also place down a zombie head at a 45 degree angle here on this dark oak wood stair on both sides like so. And then we want to go and place down a lever on this green terracotta block uh, and have a lever opened up or flicked toward the skull itself. And then we're going to go and close the trap doors if need be. Um, if they do decide to open on you. Um, anyways, once that's done, we're going to then place down a dark oak button like this on both sides, and then one also right here in between those levers, like so. And once that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number um, layer number four. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of this green terracotta block. From that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of daylight sensors across, just like that. From that point there, we're going to take our green terracotta, or sorry, dark oak wood trap doors, we're going to place down a row of three as well and close them um, just like that across. We're going to go and then place down another row of three of daylight sensors across. And then from this, we're going to go and also place down a zombie head that's going to be over here on the left side of the turret. So on this dark oak wood stand, it's going to be on the left side of the turret only. Once that's done, uh, come back here to this section, we're going to go back from the daylight uh, sensors here on the sides, and we're going to go and place down two spruce wood stairs like this back to back e to each other for the hatches. In the space in between, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a dark oak wood uh, slab that goes back from them, so just like that. And then across the back here, we're just going to place down a row three of daylight uh, detectors. 
Once that's done, on the sides here where these green terracotta blocks are, we're going to place down two zombie heads here at slight angles, kind of facing each other like that to kind of create a little bit more of roundness to this area. And same thing over here as well. Just like that, again, at very slight angles like that on both sides there to create a little bit more roundness for the turret. After that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood fence post on the left mossy cobblestone wall, uh, left one only. And once you have that done, that is going to complete the um, top of the turret for the most part. And with that, that's going to complete layer 5. With that, we're going to move into our final layers, which are going to be layers 6, 7, and 8. We're going to put the disc and machine gun on top of the radio antenna and pretty much finish the build off. Um, also, one thing I almost forgot, uh, with the front here, we're going to go ahead and grab some black carpet. We're going to place it down on top of this narrow brick stair and also green carpet on top of this mossy cobblestone wall uh, for the muzzle break. Anyways, once that's done, we can go ahead and now move on to our last final layers, layers 6 through 8. Alright guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers 6 through 8. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and placing down a anvil on top of this spruce wood stair over here on the right side of the turret. We then want to go ahead and place down a narrow brick upside down stair coming off the back of it, and then we want to place down a smooth stone top side going forward from it. Coming off the smooth stone top side, we're going to place down a end rod followed by a wither skeleton skull on the tip there for the machine gun. Now both sides of this uh, stone top side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, sign there to both sides. And on top of it, we also want to place down a black carpet. So just like that on top of it. Once that's done, going ahead and coming off the anvil here to the left side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood uh, top slab. We're going to go and place down a powered rail. Uh, right on top of it, and then we want to go and take signs of dark oak wood, and we're going to wrap around these two sides here like this to make the ammo box. Once that's done, on top of the stair, we're going to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull, like so. And then over here to the left side, or the side of the right side of the gun, we're going to place down an item frame on the side of the anvil, a black bed like this, and a um, sign over it like that to go ahead and create uh, this effect right there. And that right there is going to complete the disc and machine gun. And the last thing for us to do is just to go ahead and grab our iron bars and going up from this uh, dark oak defense post, we're going to place down one, two, and three iron bars up like that to go and do the radio antenna. And with that, that's going to complete my design for the IS-6 uh, experimental heavy tank. Well, if you guys do enjoy this tutorial and to, are able to put it to good use, if you guys do end up using this build, do it so you guys give me proper credit for it. This main thing from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video, if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and... Um, all that fun stuff. Uh, again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Croftghost54 for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel on Patreon, feel free to check that out. Again, the link is always in my video descriptions. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary Two Before, and I'll see you guys next time.